right guys, morning, afternoon, oh it's morning still, headed back to work, welcome back to Half Fast, Sim 1-9, just driving, boring long drive, bunch of dumb dumbs on the road, 65 and for some stupid reason, when there's a passing lane, their gas pedal works, when you can't pass the gas pedal doesn't work uh, I think it's just people being stupid um anyway if you're one of those stupid people just uh sell your car sell your vehicle cut your driver's license up because you're a moron or keep your driver's license keep your car and you got someone right in your butt and you're going slow move over Get off the freaking road. Anyway, um, back to my channel instead of the rant. Bunch of idiot people. Um, half fast. Seven one nine. Project crack pipe. Uh, front end. Uh, front end came out pretty good. The uh, inner fender wells whatever inner fenders, whatever you want to call them, fender liners, <coughs> they came out pretty good, painted firewall came out pretty good, um, you guys let me know what you guys think, what you guys, and never mind, I was going to say, let me know what you guys think, and I'll uh, change the floor pans, and the rocker panels, and the the cab corners but I don't really want to do all that I'm so sick of welding I'm sick of welding old metal to new metal old steel to new steel um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong I've had it set on 30 amps 40 amps 50 amps amps 60 70 200 amps um, but every, uh, the Newer steel from the 91 uh, Chevy truck, the firewall. That was welding good. I was getting a good bead on it. And then once I run the torch over to the old metal and it, I grind it down, it'd be, it looked like metal to metal, like raw metal. And I'd run it right over to that side and in a weave pattern and all of a sudden just blow a hole right through it. So. I don't know what the deal is. And I'd add filler rod. Filler rod seemed to work, but I seemed like it seemed like I was basically building metal instead of welding metal, if that makes sense. So the welding rod was turned into basically the metal from the 64 Chevy truck. So uh, anyway, I ended up stopped doing that. Ended up spot welding everything kind of a pain in the butt, a lot of tax, <laughs> ended up using my MIG, the MIG with gas, um, with the regular wire and gas, that seemed to blow a hole through it too, no matter, I turned the regulator up, put a lot of uh, gas on it, it seemed to blow through it, same thing as the TIG, which is why I'm assuming it's the metal. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, so I ended up using the flux, flux core wire, and flux core wire didn't have a problem. I think it's, maybe it was running cooler or just dirtier, so the dirtier the wire, the dirtier the metal, I don't really know what the deal was, but it's done. I wrapped her, wrapped her, lined it put on a heavy coat like I said to put on to cover up the bubble gum uh, put the front clip on so I need to order some shocks for the front I'm gonna do air shocks for the front and then from there hopefully get those in when I get back those headers didn't come till Saturday so technically Saturday Sunday it's actually Sunday mornings when I put them in. 
so I had a lot of a lot of stuff I had to do. Um, yeah, this this week was way too short. I could have used another couple days. So go back, do the front shock, figure all that out. Um, while I'm in there, I'll probably do the uh, front whatever suspension or steering stuff, ball joints, inner outer tie rods, shocks, and then uh, start working on the wiring. And if I get that all done in a reasonable amount of time, I'm gonna have to go pick up some wire loom. If I get that done, then I'm gonna start converting over the uh, gauge cluster. Um, probably just take the harness and uh, cut it and figure out what wires are which. Uh, should be all the same except for the speedometer. Like I've said before, speedometer wires. It's an electronic speedometer. I might be able to get away with um, using a cable style. Just take the speed sensor out, speed sensor out, disconnect it, and then run a gear and cable style in there. Or uh, I just run a, uh, I believe there's an electronic module of some sort that stay on the road I'm on the road it's just really windy go to the canyon and if you're off the line by like a half inch that's where the the little reliefs are so anyway yeah um I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use the old gauge cluster like I said before, it's oil pressure, voltage, everything's the same. Um, I just don't have uh, check engine light and check engine light, shift light, you know, all the lights basically. Although there are lights that are wired into the old cluster, so I can technically take the check engine light wire, I think what I'm thinking and take those and run it into an opening where there's a bulb and uh, you know, uh, there's a couple bulbs that are extra like um, I don't know if it's like an oil light or a coolant temp light but I can take those lights and run it to a check engine light and then that light when it check engine light comes on if it does then that light will illuminate and all know it's check engine light. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I got planned for the next cycle being off. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna worry about working and dealing with people at work and uh, getting the job done. And uh, yeah, so. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, this, is a, this is a busy off half, hot off half. I was wore out, beat up, my hands all fried and burnt. Just kinda... Anyway, hands burnt. My legs are all scarred up from slag, from welding, and my arms scarred up. I got stuff all over me stabbed by a bunch of metal and uh, just wore out dehydrated I was super dehydrated I was, like I said I was drinking a lot of water man I would every time I'd wash my hands I'd, I'd take big chugs of water in the sink so faucet water maybe that's what's dehydrating me I don't know I didn't feel like I was that sweaty, so but maybe the sweat was evaporating faster than it would come out. I don't know. But anyway, so next next off cycle, hopefully it's a little cooler. Um, basically, I can do everything I need to do in the garage now, 
was before I needed the cab outside. I couldn't put it in the garage. Whatever. Anyway. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna watch where I'm driving. Looks like we got some smoke from the fire or something, maybe. I hope there's not another fire, because last time I had to go up and over some huge old mountain, I don't remember. It's it was like 11,000 foot elevation or 10,000 foot elevation and uh, they detoured everybody semi trucks just everything was going up and down this hill and it was as steep up as it was steep coming down at uh, Bridgeport I think was the town they had it closed so anyway alright guys I'm gonna focus I'm gonna go through a tighter section of canyon you guys comment let me know what you guys want to see or if uh, you're liking the project. So far, I'm liking it, getting into it. Um, but uh, one day, it might be gone. You never know with me. I'm that sporadic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. Thank you for subscribing. For all the new subscribers out there, see you guys on the next one. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Later.